It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. Hi guys, Azure Ace here, and I'm back with another rant. My last rant was on YouTube Heroes, that was a long time ago. But now, my rant is directed at IGN, you can't spell ignorant without IGN, and their coverage of Kingdom Hearts. Just, right now, it's just gotten to a boil. It's just, it's not, it's just completely unacceptable now. So let's just actually get some context going for this, right? Because you're probably wondering, what is going on? What has IGN done? Well, first of all, the first thing they ever did to like spark this war between Kingdom Hearts fans and IGN is they called Roxas a garbage character that nobody cares about. You can skip the first five hours. Really? I never want to play as Roxas again. Yeah, that's that rough. First, like, you're in like a fake dreamland is this garbage character nobody cares about. Mm -hmm. Now, that is obviously a subjective opinion piece on, you know, Roxas as a character, but well, first of all, he's one of the most popular characters in the entire series. He's one of the most loved characters by pretty much 90% of Kingdom Hearts fans. He is actually quite integral to the plot. He's a catalyst for things that happen in the future. He is, he's a really important character and just the fact that he trashed them, he didn't really give any constructive criticism at all, he just, you know, said he's a garbage character that no one cares about. I'm not really too, you know, annoyed at that, because I mean, it is an opinion. But the second thing that I remember off the top of my head is one of the worst things they ever did. They got two people who don't know anything about the Kingdom Hearts series, know nothing about it, it's obvious and plain to see, to do a breakdown of the Kingdom Hearts 3 E3 2015 trailer. That was the one we first got shown with young Xehanort and young Ericus sitting in that little room playing chess together. Well, let's, let's just let this video explain my anger with IGN. So this is young master Xenohort playing with young master Ericus, Ericus. So this is Young Master Xenohort playing with Young Master Ericus, Ericus. So this is Young Master Xenohort playing with Young Master Ericus, Ericus. You stupid fucking cunt. As you can see, they don't have a single clue what they're talking about. They call them Xenohort and Ericus. Why, G IGN, it's time to stop, okay? It's time to stop, right? And then, most recently, the reason why I'm actually making this rant video is they put up a video called The 43 Big Games Coming Out in 2017. And before I even get into the Kingdom Hearts stuff, like, half of the games that are on that list aren't even confirmed to be coming out in 2017 as a start, and then they have the audacity, the audacity to put Kingdom Hearts 3 among that list, and not only do that, not only put Kingdom Hearts 3 among that list, they put Kingdom Hearts 2.8 gameplay over it. They put Kingdom Hearts 3D HD gameplay over the Kingdom Hearts 3 segment. What? I'm starting to think that IGN do this on purpose just to annoy the fans of Kingdom Hearts because they completely disregard anything. They don't do the research. It's not even Kingdom Hearts only that they do. They do, you know, they've done it for a Battle of Gods back in the day. They just, it's just, I honestly don't have any more words for them if I'm being completely honest. It's just, it's stupid. They are becoming like a big version of you know, blasting news, K-drama stars, Christian Times, all these bullshit sites that do clickbait and such and stuff like that, you know, that <clears throat> just completely wrong, misinformation everywhere, 
they're just turning into one of them. They have absolutely no credibility, and I just, they are really just a shell of a company. I remember back in the day when they had the Funhouse guys, they, you know, they had Adam Kovic, they had Bruce, they had Lawrence, they had all the guys over at Funhouse now who now work for Rooster Teeth. When they had those guys, the site was amazing. The the videos they put out were absolutely fantastic. And then they just turned into this mucky, ugly corporation. They don't rate their games fairly. They give games like Call of Duty a 10 or a 9 or an 8 back to back to back when it doesn't deserve it. And then they give games like, you know, they gave Kingdom Hearts 2 a 7. Back in the day, Kingdom Hearts 2 was one of the best looking, one of the best playing games on the PS2. And that's pretty hard to deny if you look at Kingdom Hearts 2 compared to some of the other games on the PS2. And they gave just games that deserved such high praise. They gave them really low scores, or like low scores in comparison to what they should have got, which is just stupid. And like I said, they give games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, FIFA, games that are mainstream in the industry, 9s, 8s, 10s, all back to back every year. And not just that, they have advertising all around, you know, the site. Call of Duty, pre-order now in Xbox One or PS4 or whatever. They have these advertising boards up there pretty much promoting the game and giving it praise when it doesn't deserve it. I mean, some Call of Duty games are good. You know, Black Ops 3 was good, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, World at War, Black Ops 1. I think I just mentioned that, but I repeated myself. I don't know. But, but then they give games like Call of Duty Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, all games that weren't exactly the best in terms of Call of Duty, they gave them 9s, 10s, and they just don't deserve it. So what I'm getting at here with this video, this rant, first of all, they are not a credible source for Kingdom Hearts news. If you guys want Kingdom Hearts news, you either consult a person who knows a lot about Kingdom Hearts, you know, you can consult me, because I'm never ever gonna spread misinformation with you guys like as long as I live I am never gonna spread misinformation on purpose and if I do spread misinformation I will apologize and I will correct myself and blame myself for it I will do that or you can talk to someone whose source is KH13 or KH Insider if you want news go to KH Insider or KH13 they are the primary Kingdom Hearts news sites just please for the love of God, go there. Don't trust IGN. Don't trust the, you know, Christian Times. Don't trust Blasting News. Please, don't be that stupid, guys. IGN has no credibility whatsoever. Not just in terms of Kingdom Hearts News, just in terms of news in general. Because they don't provide facts. They provide opinions or misinformation. But that's, you know, that's none of my business, though. But nevertheless, if you guys like this video, please leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Share this amongst your friends. I've been Azure Ace, and thank you for coming to the video. You have arrived. I'm here to tell you that if you don't subscribe to Azure Ace for Dragon Ball, Kingdom Hearts, and Pokemon TCG content, you will wander forever in the darkness of your heart.